Hey guys, today we're taking a look at a valid palindrome, which is an interesting question, particularly in JavaScript. Um, it's it's pretty difficult to find the optimal solution for this one. So a phrase is a palindrome if uh, after converting all uppercase to lowercase and removing all out non-alphanumeric characters, this is going to be the tricky part for us. It reads the same forward and backwards. Uh, alphanumeric obviously includes letters and numbers and we're just returning true or false. So here we have a mana plan, a canal, Panama, we're getting rid of all the spaces, all the colons, all the commas, and we're turning all the uh, uppercase letters into lowercase letters, and, and we're just returning this, this one phrase, which we know to be a palindrome. So I guess uh, a naive solution is just going to be to set a temporary variable to equal, oh, oh, that's, oops, sorry. We're going to let a temporary variable um, be equal to uh the reverse of the string so s reversed and then we will just check if the temporary is going to be equal to s and we can just return that um the problem with this one is that it's not exactly optimized so to store this uh temp variable we need uh to use a space complexity of o of n um it's going to be linear time because it's going to be probably the exact space as the reverse of s after we of course get rid of all the non-alphanumerics uh, once we get rid of those, then we can just set this temporary variable and that's going to take O of n space and the time complexity is going to be O of n to actually set the temporary variable because the reverse function is going to um, iterate through the array s. So uh, this is going to be O of n time. And the optimal solution for this one is actually um, linear time and constant space. So the problem with constant space is that we need to figure out some way to not use this temp variable. In other words, we need to uh, update this s, the string s, in place. So um, a lot of other languages have inbuilt features to do this, but JavaScript in particular is going to be uh, pretty difficult. So we need some function s or some function that will convert s into s without all the alphanumerics. And we have to do that in place. This, this has to be done in constant time. Um, and well, sorry, it has to be done in linear time, but constant space where we need to convert S in place. Then after that, obviously we can, um, uh, we have, we'll have this new S, which as you know, if you had a man, a plan, blah, 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 then it would convert it into something like a man, a plan, blah, 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 such that there are no spaces, no capital letters, no commas, um, nothing extra. So we would only have these these, these two. Um, we, we would just have this, this one constant string. And then what we would do with this string is we would then set two pointers. So we would set a pointer equal to the left and a pointer equal to the very right character. Um, let me actually fill this out. All right, so we'd have a man, a plan, a canal, Panama like this, and we would set a pointer pointing to the leftmost index, the very first index, we'll set this point as the left pointer, and we'll have a pointer pointing to the very right index. As you can see, if this is a palindrome, given that we have no extra extra spaces, these should be completely equal every time. And if they are equal, then we'll just um, iterate left up one, and we'll iterate right up one. So that right is then pointing to this n, and left is pointing to this n, and these are equal. And if at any point left does not equal right, if at any point left does not equal right, then we're just going to return false outright. And if we go through the entire loop, uh, such that left and right meet up at the very center, and I believe the center is going to be this c, um, then we can return you know true, um, because we haven't returned false at any point. So let's see how this looks like in the code with uh, this this important function that is going to delete all the alphanumerics in place in JavaScript. It's just kind of a, a handy thing to memorize. Um, JavaScript doesn't really have any built-in functions, so we have to do it in a particular way. Let's take a look. So the very first thing we're going to do is convert this string in place, and this is where I'll show you this function. So first, we can set it all to lowercase, and this is going to get rid of all the uppercase characters. Then we're going to replace all the alphanumerics. In this case, we'll use the dot replace function, but what we're going to be putting in this dot replace function is kind of uh, weird. It just looks like this. It's it's uh it's bracket and then up arrow and then a to z zero to nine, and I'm guessing that that means alphanumeric. Um, and slash gi, and this is going to indicate all non-alphanumerics. So if it's not an alphanumeric, then you're going to replace that with an empty string. Now we should have s re um, replaced 
in place, so no, no extra space is used, we only use constant space, we should have a constant s that is replaced and lowercase and it is in the form that we want. Now we can use this two pointer method that I was talking about, which is actually going to be very important um, in future questions. So we'll set left to the very first index, the very first character and right to the very last character. And we have while left is less than right, then if at any point in this iteration, we have that they are not equal to each other, then we're going to return false. Um, if it does, if that doesn't happen, then we can iterate left up and we can de decrement right one. And at the very end of this loop, we can return true uh, and see if that works. And we can submit this and yep, that works. And that's how it's done.